Hi there. You're in the lab with your mate JJ. So uh, today is just a quick video. I wanted to show you my new camera. This is called my welcome cam and it allows me to show you the room and do an introduction for the video. I've got my coffee table here and I'm here on my chair. You can see the room. So uh, yeah, that's my new Logitech Brio webcam. Uh, it's been a bit of a hassle trying to get it to work, actually. I have two Logitech Brio cameras and there was some compatibility problems and I wasn't sure if it was drivers or cables or USB ports or really what it was. I, I'm, uh, I'm really pushing my uh, Dell Optiplex <coughs> to the maximum at the moment. I'm looking forward to getting a new uh, workstation for doing the videos because uh, this guy is really pushed to his limits, uh, mostly with uh, the number of USB support, uh, view, USB ports that can be supported. There's about six on this thing. I need probably more like 12. Anyway, first world problems. Today's quick video, I just thought I'd take the opportunity to unbox something which arrived in the mail today. I'm a little bit annoyed. I, I bought a lot of stuff recently um, and... Uh, and just tore it apart and put it on the shelf, you know, and it was an opportunity to do an unboxing because it's only uh, once does a, a bit of equipment arrive and then it sits on your bench for years and years and years. So if you don't do the unboxing at the time, then you really lose the opportunity to do it. So I thought I'd take the opportunity to unbox at least this one, even though I've unboxed all sorts of other stuff just recently. Let me show you. <clears throat> I got this really cool piece of equipment on a whim, it didn't cost much, about AU, uh, Aussie dollars, about 50 or 60 bucks I think this thing was. Uh, anyway, the details are all there. I've listed it as equipment in my lab, which is in my documentation. You'll find it if you care. This is called Jack Cat, but if you search for Jack Cat, you won't find it. Um, I bought it on Amazon. It's called a mini cutter or electric scissors. It's great. You just, it's got a little safety thing and you press that and you pull that and then it just cuts whatever you want. So it's really good for cutting cardboard boxes into pieces. Uh, so I'm really happy I got this. It's just an excellent little tool. That, I don't know if, if you have much experience with scissors, if you're trying to cut down the middle and you've got a big piece on either side, you get to the middle and your scissors get jammed in the middle. Whereas this guy just cuts straight through. So it's an excellent thing to have. If you don't have electronic scissors, I recommend pretty much any electronics lab is going to benefit with them. They're just the right tool for the job. Uh, often you'll find, I've already found, they only arrived yesterday. Um, other things that arrived, and uh, there was a, a, a bit of a comedy of errors in fact. I, uh, I ended up with this guy. Uh, let me show you. This is a No Yaffa NF521 thermal imager. This also is a thermal imager. So now I have two thermal images. It was a mistake. I didn't mean for it to pan out the way that it did. Um, but I picked this up for a bargain price. They usually re retail around 200, 250 bucks. Uh, I picked one up at auction. It's new. Uh, auction on uh, eBay, 120 Aussie bucks, which is about 80 bucks US. So about US $80 I got this thing. It's not the best, but uh, it's certainly not as good as this one. But it's handy to have, and I'm going to keep it on my bench, um, because it's actually quite a, a useful bit of kit. It's got a, um, a, a camera, and it's got an a infrared camera as well, two cameras, visible light, and the resolution on the infrared camera is 32 by 32 pixels so it's really not that high res um, and the, the the resolution on the on the camera is uh, two megapixels um, which is a shitty camera um, but you don't use this for its camera in fact it has uh, like a fusion mode which shows you both and I didn't really like it it's not particularly useful so if you're going to use it I don't find I use the, um, the, 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 the visible light camera functionality at all. Um, and I wonder if I could just pop, uh, if I turn this guy on, um, and I just switch you over to the, uh, 
to the lab. Let's jump over to the bench. Okay, there we are on the bench. Oh, that's uh, that's upside down. We don't want upside down. How do we uh, how do we fix that? Hang on a sec. Bear with me. All right, you. And uh, I have been playing with the um, with the settings and the cameras and everything because I uh, installed my new Logitech Brio. Anyway, there we are. We're back. Now I just wanted to show you. I don't know how good or bad that is, but do you see how um, it gives you a little white trace outline of 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 what you're looking at? Like you see my warm hand there. And it puts the little white lines around my hand. It's got like this edge detection. So that's pretty cool. And if you look at that, that's not bad. That's quite useful, you know. You can see the warmth there. and um, So this particular device, I'm actually quite happy with it. Um, so I scored it 120 Aussie bucks. Um, as I said, about US $80. So I'm very happy to have this. No Yaffa NF. 521 but this video is not about the no yaffa this video is about videos about the uni t um uh and the uni t model that i've got is called the uti 260b with macro lens uh there were other options there's other models um this one struck me as being the best model that i could get with the most features the macro lens is optional I don't know if I'm even going to want the macro lens, but it wasn't very much, so I got it as well. As I said, I, or I perhaps I didn't say, but I, I bought the Uni T uh, at AliExpress, 430 Aussie bucks, which is about 280 US delivered. Um, so I paid 280 US dollars for this guy. Uh, it's arrived today, and we're going to do the unboxing. In the cardboard box that it came in, there was this um, this bag that came with it as well. So um, why don't we have a look at the bag and then we'll um, we'll pop the, the thing out of, the, of its box and just see what that looks like. Uh, and then that'll be it for today. You know, for people who've been following along on my blog, I um, got myself a uh, lab coat. <laughs> That's arrived, so it's here. And I uh, accidentally got myself like an extra 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 large one um at least it fits but it i, I even i'm a big guy but uh it's it, it i'm swimming in it it's huge anyway uh but that's okay i've ordered also a pocket protector <laughs> to go with it and uh some id lanyards so we're gonna do the whole you know cosplay thing and dress myself up as stepman from starcraft when i do these in the lab with jj videos uh, but not starting today. Today I'm still still in my old hoodie. Uh, but soon we'll, we'll go live with <laughs> with the lab coat. So uh, let's jump you over to the bench, and we'll pop this guy open and see what's in the box. So first things first, this is a case for the device. Now, I don't think I'm going to be using it. In fact, it's my hope that I can bolt the device to the wall. We'll see if it's got a screw to facilitate that or not. I hope that it does. If it doesn't, we might install a screw ourselves or something like that. Anyway, there it is. That's the bag. It goes on your belt. That's neat. Uh, it has, it has a, a, a long-ish uh, um, carry um, handle strap so yeah uh not bad it's reasonably good quality it's fairly sturdy so i'm happy with that and this is the box so it's uh it's all in chinese it doesn't seem to have the model oh no there it is uti 260b can you see that i'm not sure i don't know uti 260B. Try and get that in focus. I don't know if it does auto focus or not. Uh, Alright. So, uh, Chinese Chinese Pro real time image transmission. So, I suppose that means USB transmission. Or maybe it just means real time display. I don't know. P 
PC analysis software. Okay, so that's interesting. I wonder if it really does come with software, if it's just compatible as a USB cam or something. Visual camera, so it's got a visual cam uh, for visible light. As I said, my experience with the other one, which is lower resolution, is that that's not a particularly useful feature, uh, particularly for the kind of things that I'm doing, where I'm just looking at, I'm going to be looking at circuit boards and trying to see where they're active. So that's the whole point of having a thermal imager. Um, it doesn't, it's not probably not going to really benefit me to have the visible light um, fusion, but you know, maybe, we'll see. And audio alarm, so it could probably beep at you if the temperature goes too high. Um, some uh, barcodes, or um, what are they called, these things? QR codes, a couple of those. Alright, so it's got a, a telephone number that's probably Chinese. And wow, the back is quite detailed. It's got a, it's got a long list of, oh look, they've actually done comparisons of their various models. So the overview, I don't know if you can read that. Um, it says, uh, this product is a versatile, rugged and ergonomically designed thermal imager with great performance. It adopts a UFPA detector to ensure excellent infrared resolution and a rich variety of palette modes. In addition, some models also have the functions of visual light, buzzer alarm, and real-time image transmission, which is convenient for various applications. So that sounds pretty reasonable to me. They've put their, uh, their, uh, their address here in China, and they're on the web at uni-trend.com. Uh, fair enough. And they've got a Chinese website as well. Uh, okay. So... Uh, now, looking at the, um, at the, the they've done a, a comparison across all their products, so that, that's a pretty good idea, and they've told you uh, the various models that they've got. So they've got the UTI-85A, the UTI-165A, the UTI-260A, the UTI-120B, the UTI-220B, and the UTI-260B. Now, the UTI-260B is the model that I have. So that's nice to know. I've got the, the, the most sophisticated model. Temperature range for this model, um, minus 20 degrees Celsius to 550 degrees Celsius, which for our American friends, American friends, is minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit to 1022 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't think I'll be doing anything that, that is that hot in this lab. I'd be lucky if I pushed 80, I reckon, 80 or 90 degrees Celsius, uh, which is, say, 100, 200 odd degrees Fahrenheit. I don't think I'd go over that. Maybe if I had some boiling water, yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, accuracy plus or minus uh, 2 degrees Celsius or plus or minus 2%. Usually they say whichever is bigger. Anyway, that seems pretty reasonable within about 2. <coughs> Two, two, 2 degrees, 2% two of the reading, that's fine. Uh, the infrared resolution on this guy is uh, 256 by 192 pixels. So that's 256 by 192. Now just to give you some context, the uh, other device which I have, which I mentioned earlier, the No Yaffa, this guy is uh, 32 by 32 pixels, okay? So, this guy is considerably higher resolution than this is. Um, and I have to say, this is quite a handy bit of equipment, so this thing is probably really going to kill it. Uh, so, let's go on here. We've got um, buzzer alarm. Oh, there we go. Look, the, uh, the UTI-260B doesn't seem to have the buzzer alarm. That's interesting. I'm not sure why they do that, but uh, it's not there. Um, Fair enough. I don't need that functionality, so I'm not going to miss that feature. Uh, frame rate is 25 hertz, or less than 25 hertz, which is the best uh, frame rate available. The other ones are less than 9 hertz, so less than 25 is the best. Um, that's pretty good anyway. I mean, 25 cycles per section. If it was 1 hertz, it would probably work well enough for me, so less than 25 will do. Uh, supports visual light, uh, supports image blending, 
uh, supports real-time image transmission, uh, which presumably means it's a USB camera. Uh, I don't know. Uh, software auto logs high temperature data and image. Okay, good. So you can save the images um, and the and the and the readings. That's good. Usually on the screen, it'll pick out the high point and the low point. So those are probably the the, the readings that it'll uh, it'll give you. I don't know what ROI means. ROI. I mean, usually it's return on investment, right? I suspect it's something to do with the field of view or something. I'm not sure what ROI stands for, um, but it's supported on all models. So, okay. Uh, measurement points, three extra measuring points. So I think you can pick a picture, you can pick a spot on the screen and say you want to know. Oh, here we go. It's not ROI, it's field of view. So the field of view is uh, 56 degrees by 42 degrees, uh, which is the highest supported field of view. Uh, others are 35 by 26, 50 by 38. Um, and uh, yeah, so this one's got the, the greatest field of view. Uh, they give you that reading in radians, which is 3.8 milli radians. Uh, and the thermal sensitivity of this guy is less than 50 MK. Now, I believe that's milli kelvins, uh, but it means nothing to me. I don't know what that means. Uh, sensitivity is less than 50 MK. Now, the resolution of this guy, it says, is uh, 0.1 degrees Celsius or 0.2 degrees Fahrenheit, which is interesting. So the, the, the resolution is, is uh, it's like one at a order of magnitude uh, smaller than the actual accuracy so um, so it can be quite high resolution but the accuracy is not necessarily there anyway uh, but that's okay uh, response time uh, half a half a second less than 500 milliseconds well, that's interesting yeah so that's that's actually two Hertz isn't it the response time is less than 500 milliseconds so the frame rate might be very high but the, the image is only going to actually update like once or twice a second, which is, as I said before, that'd be fine for my uses anyway. Uh, auto power off, so you can you can set that 30 minutes by default. Um, PC analysis software, so expecting to find some software with this. I don't know if you download it or if they've put it on a USB stick or how do you distribute software these days? You used to put it on a CD, then you put it on a DVD. But who has a DVD? Apart from me, I have DVDs, I have Blu-ray, um, anyway. Uh, data transmission, so it's a, a Type-C, uh, USB-C, fair enough. Charging uh, voltage current, 5 volts, 2 amps, okay. Um, it's got a battery of 3.6 volt, 500 milliamp hour. That's pretty good, 500, not 500, 5,000. So 5,000 milliamp hours, that's, that's huge actually, that's a really good battery in my opinion. Okay, the battery life, yeah, seven to nine hours. That's huge. It can do five amp hours. That's amazing. All right, uh, charging time, four hours. Image storage, micro SD card. Operating environment, so it's reasonable. Zero degrees to 50 degrees Celsius, which is 32 degrees to 122 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, altitude, uh, less than two kilometers. Accessories, uh, USB data cable, uh, SD card, and a manual. That actually took quite a long time to get through the reading all of that on the back. Anyway, let's do the unboxing. So let's just pop the lid off and see what's in the box. All right. Well, that's a nice bit of foam. I'll put that in my uh, foam box. I have a foam box, of course. You're not a real nerd unless you collect your phone. I also collect metal, and I collect plastic, and I collect cardboard, and I collect old medicine bottles, because you never know when you're going to want to put something in a bottle. Like a little electronics project, maybe. You could make a torch out of a bottle, you know. All right, so we've got uh, some uh, certification, ISO 9001, that's good. All right, so that's all in Chinese. I don't know what that means. We'll put that over there. Now, here we go. Okay, this part of the manual is all in Chinese. Chinese, Chinese, Chinese. So, uh, 
that's not particularly helpful for me because I don't read Chinese. Uh, here we go. Look at that. That's a pretty solid manual. It's got uh, Chinese in the front and English in the back. That's nice of them. So they've they've put it in English at the back. Excellent. Okay, thank you for purchasing this brand new product. Well, thank you for making it for me. So uh, we won't go through the, the manual in detail, but it looks like a pretty solid manual. It's 25 to 43, so it's nearly uh, around about 18 pages by the looks of it. Um, okay, specification, structure, display, power on off, measurement, palette, point temperature, image mode, settings. Now settings are language, date and time, temperature unit, high low alert, measuring modes, measurements, display brightness, auto power off, USB mode and system settings. And then it uh, goes on, temperature compensation and calibration, image viewing, image capture, LED light, USB communication and image projection, SD card, charging, maintenance, safety instructions, notice for use and appendix. Alright, well this is an unboxing and not a, um, not a literature review. So we won't go through the whole uh, the whole manual together now, um, and I'm just going to plug this guy in and use it. I mean, it's probably pretty much point and click. Now, what do we got here? That might be the um, that might be the wide field of view image uh, lens. There is an SD card, SC 2023A. Uh, it's Kingston. There you go. It's a Kingston 32 gig. Kingston 32 gig micro SD card. And this is a USB A to USB C adapter. That'll be for power. And presumably this thing acts as a, uh, an, a webcam. Oh, yes, that is what I wanted to see. Excellent. This has the, the bolt that I need to install this thing on the wall. So this is going to go up. You can't see here. I wonder if I could put you over on. No. No, I can't show you. Sorry about that. Uh, I wanted to show you where I'll install this. But uh, that's really excellent. I'm so pleased. I was worried if, the, if that wasn't there, it was going to be really hard for me to install this on my wall, which is what I intend to do. But it is there, so that's great. That's just exactly what I wanted. I'm very happy about that. That was actually the only thing that I was really worried about. Now, there we go. I've got a, I've got a box, and I've got a massive chunk of foam. So I'm going to keep that, uh, just in case I want to make something out of it at some point in the future. I'm a, I'm a bit of a, um, a bow bird. I'm always keeping stuff. So... Uh, I'll put that away. I've got some space for it in my uh, cupboard. So that's good. And here we are. This is the device. Now look, it's got a little tab on it for pulling off the screen protector. So let's do that. All right. That's a nice brand spanking new screen. That's wonderful. All right. So we've got a um, uh, micro SD. And this is a pretty well packaged little bit of equipment, isn't it? I'm quite happy with this. Very nice. Popped him open. He's got some tape on him, I think. Yep, he does. So take the tape off there and pull him apart. There you go. So that's what it looks like. The um, the macro lens. Pretty interesting stuff. So I suppose we should have a look at this and see. Uh, oh no, it's got uh, it's got tape on it. I, oh, interesting. It's got screws on it as well. Ah, so maybe you have to actually install it, screw it in. Um, interesting. I wasn't expecting that. But look, screw, screw. It's got two screws on it. Can you see that? Screw, screw, screw. So I'm not sure if that auto focuses on that. Still trying to figure out the camera situation. But yeah, it's got two screws on it. And on the back is some, uh, you know, like 3M double-sided tape by the looks of it. So uh, yeah, maybe you can stick it on. But if you do, you probably won't be able to get it off real easy. So we'll have to think about that. So uh, 32 gig SD card. Now the SD card looks like it goes in here. It does indeed. Interesting. Now it would be better for me if that 
that, which is the USB-C, if that was like there, that would be more convenient because I'm going to be installing this thing this way, which means the cable is going to be coming out this way, uh, which is just a little bit untidy, but honestly, that's not a big problem. It's got some info on the side. I have to say, it's a, it's a really nice, a solid bit of uh, kit. It's, it's got, it's dense, you know, like it's heavy. So it makes you feel like it's good quality. It must be that 5,000 milliamp hour battery they've got in there. Uh, I assume that's in the handle. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's good. It's good balanced. It's, I, I really, uh, I think this is an excellent bit of equipment. Yeah. And look at that on the front. It looks like, uh, you know, it's got a few things. I, that, I don't know what those are. Maybe, I don't know. It's got three things. So it's, got, it's going to have visible light. I assume that's at the bottom. Um, and then it's got, uh, presumably the IR in the middle and then that must be illumination at the top. I don't know. Or maybe, I don't know. I have no idea what that is. Um, and then this guy goes on like that. Uh, and there's screws here and here, but there is no, um, place <laughs> to screw them into. So that's interesting. Um, yeah, I, uh, I don't think I'm going to need that uh, field of view uh, in the end. I think we'll just put him away. Uh, but I guess we'll have a look. Why wouldn't we? So, uh, okay, that's it. That's the unboxing. I, um, I wonder, can we turn this thing on? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, yeah, it powered up. Uh, so there's obviously enough charge on its battery to power it up. I um I I won't uh, I won't demo this unit now. I, I'm going to get it installed. Oh look, it's doing a, a boot. I wonder if it does that every time or if it's a first boot sort of thing. Um, I'm going to install this guy, and then uh, and then we can have a look at it. But yeah, wow, just uh, that is wow, that's awesome. Can you see that? Look at that. That's my hot coffee. Can, can you see? Check that out. Wow. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. That's super high resolution compared to my other one. Yeah, okay, Ripper. Wow. I'm really impressed with this bit of equipment. All right, cool. All right. Well, um, that's that's it for the unboxing. Uh, just for the record, this was the Uni T UTI 260B with macro lens. Um, I'm going to install it on my uh, wall so that it sits over my bench and I'm going to run it into my um, uh, recording equipment so that I can show people uh, circuit boards um, under the thermal cam so we can see uh, which part of the circuits are getting hot um, because they're, they're using electricity and that should help us find short circuits or, or just um, know about the activity on our, on our boards. So that's why I got this. Um, I'm really looking forward to installing it and having a bit of a play with it. I think it, it looks like an excellent bit of equipment. Uh, it's going to meet my needs for sure. I, um, so I've got, I've got this guy and I still have good old trusty here. Now, the cool thing about having two of these things, this one I can just use like manually and I can move it around and get a rough reading on something or look up really close with the 32 by 32 resolution. This guy is going to be permanently installed in the wall, um, and it's also going to run out to the USB cam so I can make videos and show people what's on it. I, looking at this, it is spectacular resolution. That's really great. I, I couldn't ask for more. So I'm, I'm really pleased to have both of these. Um, I'm looking forward to installing this. I will install it, and I'll give you guys a demo on a, in a future video, um, and we'll, we'll look at some circuit boards or something and, and just see, uh, see how they heat up. So uh, that's all for today. Uh, thank you for watching, um, and I'll see you in the next video.